What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Assassination Classroom. Today we're doing episodes 11 and 12 of season one. First one is called Student Transfer Time slash Second Period. I'm assuming that's going to be based off how the cliffhanger was at the end of last episode. Very excited. Hopefully you guys are excited as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for early access and full length up to one week or four episodes ahead. Everything you guys need is in the description down below. Let's hop right on into this assassination classroom episodes 11 and 12. Let's do it. Your second transfer. Man, these are so fast. No need for details. This is our long awaited favorite. I think it said what January or uh, June 25th is when he's coming. So we're getting our second transfer student. Okay. Yeah, do you know who your other student is as a fellow transfer assassin? Interesting. For two reasons, what would those be? Oh god. This is, he's gonna be quite crazy, right? And Coral's like, you already blew off one of my fingers? This is the guy who looks straight out of like Kingdom Hearts or another game show. A white dove. Shiro. Okay. He's probably terrified. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I wonder what Shiro sees. I'm sure he'll, like, does he see they have potential as assassins? What What does he see? Isona. The hell just happened? You, that's not the door, buddy. That's the back wall. That's what I'm saying. It's like if you threw Aomine or Akashi in a different show. It's like, I won. It's like, but we're not, we're not even having a <laughs> competition. He's like, I won though. The fair observation, Karma. What do you have to say about that, Itona? That is not the response I was expecting, Koro. Damn. <laughs> okay okay no i'm going through these i'm going through these don't know what that is uh i'm assuming just child that is obviously goku and vegeta <laughs> they're brothers that's so funny oh what is that that looks like some yu yu haku show shit he looks like he i don't know that looks so sick that looks like some JoJo's or Gundam Sailor Moon, maybe. I don't know. What? Okay. He came in, broke the wall, and then used the door to left. He's, yeah, how are you guys related? I'm butthurt. He's over here reading Shonen Jump. Is that Usopp? That's literally Usopp on the cover. Shouts out Usopp. I'm assuming with the way he was able to see Korra last episode and how he was dodging rain, he's probably insanely fast and he has a sweet tooth, that's funny. He's gonna pull out a magazine, he already has the same one. Oh yeah. Okay, Okajima's funny. That I have no choice. My sons. That's a, that's a good story right there. I would I would watch that show. And then he, yep, this is such like a movie. They grew up separated for who knows how many years. Come back and they're enemies. They began their destiny without really up. Yep, exactly. Exactly. That's <laughs> the core. <laughs> That's so funny. So we have to be within this small ass ring going this fast? What? Already an arm straight off. 
He has tentacles too in his hair. That's kind of sick. That's kind of sick. The last thing I was expecting. I was just expecting him to be insanely fast. Again, not what I was expecting. Hair tentacles. But this ought to have convinced you. You have different parents, different upbringings. It has to be something with Koro's backstory. It's the only reason he's this mad. Remember something unpleasant. The girl. Oh, I'm butthurt. I'm not getting the story. So they use that short range ray to freeze him. And then Itona just goes ham. And he was able to shed his skin. That's like a once a month, right? Or once a week thing. Asen immediately drops afterwards yeah that also damn wow so they've had this whole strategy planned out itona's kind of going in I want to know the story so bad. That's true. You got to look at, you know, it's so weird having that, right? That's literally what I would be thinking. Like the world is saved. Why would I be so upset? That's a valid point. That's why Nagis was taking all these notes. They wanted to be the ones. Oh, he was using their knives. Okay, I was like, what was he able to do to get rid of Itona's tentacles? But, <laughs> I mean, that's a great strategy. Quickly able to grab the anti-Koro knives, get rid of some of his tentacles, and then yet yeah, covered him in the old skin. I thought it was his mucus, but true. That's, he won. Is Itona going to actually be a member of the squad? Like, I would be shocked. He's just so, like, predatorial. I don't know. That hurt his pride super bad. Yeah, you're weak, buddy. Of course he does. Was that Shiro who stopped him? So this was just our introduction to him. He's going to go get some more training arc, and then he'll... Mr. That's kind of it's kind of fucking dope. So Mr. Shiro's leaving with Itona, more training, and uh, he said they have different parents, but they're still brothers. <laughs> That's funny. That's a funny imp impersonation. Come on, give us, it doesn't have to be the full story. Give us just a little teaser. Every teacher I've had has said, oh, my name is Mr. This. I was born here. I have a wife. I, you know, come on, give me the, give me the, give me the story. Yeah, I don't believe that. I think you were human. I think he's lying again. Of course it would be. So then why does it hurt telling us? This motivates us to train and study more, you know. I'm a little butthurt. I didn't even get a little teaser of it, but I'm patient. I'll wait. They do feel even more motivated. They want to go beyond their curriculum, get some extra credit, you know. After seeing Itona and how how close he came, they're like, nah, we need to up our game. We're actually pretty weak. Okay. Hell yeah. That was a great episode.
All right, on episode 12, this one is called Ball Game Tournament Time. Let's do it. If I had to assume ball game, I would assume baseball. And that's Sugino, right? Sugino is Mr. Baseball. I love fishing. What is this, Tokyo Revengers? <laughs> that, would actually, that would actually work too, which is funny. <laughs> baseball club captain. We know Sugino wants to be a pitcher as well. He used to be on the baseball team before he went to Class E. Yeah. You guys got to think of what he's going through. Come on. Yeah, that's what Alright, this is our new challenge. We're going to beat these guys. Okay, that's fair enough. We're going to take the E class and we're going to... New opening? <laughs> Every opening so far has had the kids dancing like that. <laughs> I don't know why, but I love it. The visuals in this give me like Mob Psycho 100 vibes. Like super creative, super out there. I would enjoy it if I was on drugs a lot, you know? Like, look at this. That would be fucking... Sen! Target on! Let's go. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Oh, that is horrible. Oh, hell no. That's what I'm saying. Terasaka could be, he could be a catcher. I mean, I could bow. Oh yeah. That just goes to show how much passion you have towards that, you know? <laughs> Koro uh, training might give us the edge we need in some baseball. I mean, who knows? <laughs> so he's a ball. He's gonna signal us with the color of his face. Win like we're gonna kill him. What is he using like Morse code, his own special? If we can't beat these kids at baseball, we'll never kill our teacher. We gotta. This is so weird. Infused with murderous intent. God damn. 140? I was about to say, is that not near like 90 to 100 miles an hour? That's fast as fuck. Ooh, bunt. Surprise is the biggest thing. With him being the fastest runner and them never expecting that, a bunt's a good play. Okay, Nagisa, let's do it. Another bunt. Yeah, you know how fast? You think your fast ball is fast? 300 kilometers an hour? So I'm saying Koro training is just different in general. <laughs> yeah, you don't really need to change it up when you're just that good, especially at this level, you know? And we know Koro can copy form to a precise, you know, I love it. That's a valid point. Oh my god, that's actually a great play. If he's only doing fastballs, even at 140 kilometers an hour, if we or if you're constantly seeing 300 kilometer an hour fastballs, as soon as you see the first one, it's 140, you're like, this bitch is slow. Just knock it out of the park, you know? I love that. Obviously, we're bunting, but that's just because it's better for us to bunt at this point, you know? We could hit it if we wanted to. The bases are loaded with no outs. Oh, with the boy. See, it's a grand slam. Base is loaded out of the park. Come on. I love that look. We're assassins, motherfucker. All the lasers on his head right now. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, we switched from a bunt because they were expecting the bunt over to a... <sighs> Shouts out, my boy. That's at least getting two runs. Oh, it's the principal, Asano. We haven't seen him in a minute. 
Even though he's not feeling ill. You're lucky I found you ill. I would never let anyone who's a normal, you know. Jesus Christ. This is not good at all. You'll do whatever it takes to make them win. Gakuho Asano. They're all, oh, yeah. Because all we're doing is bunting. That's, it's a teacher as the ump. That makes sense. What the fuck? It is a school game, you know? Re-cements their resolve and their motivation, you know? Like, this is only the start. You want to be this way as an adult? You want to be one of the chosen select? You'll have to tram trample over thousands. Just ten of those thousands. Jesus, I kind of like the way that, like, okay. I kind of like Asano. He's kind of a savage. Yeah, he doesn't even know what to do. Uh-oh. <laughs> right? That's actually hilarious. That's actually funny. Look at the foam coming out of his mouth. These guys are like fucking... These guys are being mind-controlled. They're fucking puppets. If there was one who could genuinely, besides Sugino, just hit a normal Shindo fastball, Karma could. I have faith in him. But he's also great at getting on people's heads. Hmm. Look at the way he looks. Shindo is like a fucking uncontrolled beast right now. Like, look at this guy, bro. Is he a berserker in Fate Zero? Okay, now is the time we're going to use that provocation. Okay, how do we do that? Are we going to all play infield or what are we going to do? Yup. What? That... Yeah, you guys want to do our bunting strategy? We're going to do your infield strategy. I would be like, I'm going to hit you in the head with a baseball bat. Like, how does, how does this work? Karma's fucking face. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's not even focused on the pitch at all. That's okay. So that's why he chose Karma and the other guy. Jesus. <laughs> Absolutely not. I would be intimidated as fuck. I would not. I would not be able to not think about hitting them with the ball, with the bat. Double play. Triple play. <laughs> what? That's how we won? We got Ritsu there watching as well. That's how it be with a lot of professional sports, esports, all that. You never know behind the scenes how much work it actually is, you know? Yeah, with that in the midterms, it's 1-1. One, one. We'll, we'll settle it in the best of three, the finals. Yeah. He just wanted to show that he's working hard, you know? My old... <laughs> he's working hard with his current friends to his old friends. He wanted to show you that my life's not over. You know, we are working, you know? <laughs> right. Shouts out Shindo. Way to make a little way to have a little character arc. The whole elitist being chosen is not everything, you know. Okay, great bunch of episodes, I can't lie. Alright, so I love the whole baseball episode working as a team. Love the teamwork, love Koro, how we have to not only just win in general which is difficult to do being just less talented in general but also win at the expense of overcoming these obstacles that are put in front of us 
that aren't really fair, such as the principal, such as the other student, such as whatever cheating may happen. We always get cheated on and we always somehow end up persevering. And I respect that from not only the, the kids, but Koro, you know, so shout out to that baseball episode. Enjoyed it thoroughly. But I must say the whole Mr. Shiro and Itona situation. Very curious about Mr. Shiro. He seems very interesting. Even though he doesn't by any means seem weak at all, he does not seem as strong as Itona and Koro, but he was able to like, and he has the anti coral fibers built. Like it's crazy. I'm very curious. I am very curious. And about the whole brothers, the whole backstory of Koro. We got to see a little glimpse of that girl with him in his like super black form again. I need the whole them trying to come up with a fake story of how they could be siblings was so funny to me. The whole fantasy. I just, it's so the, the kids are so funny. And then how they were like the references, how they were showed like Dragon Ball Z, like gun, whatever it was, Sailor Moon, you know, like I love, I love the references, love them so much. It is crazy. We're already over halfway through the first season and quarter of the way through the show already. Damn. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon if you guys don't want to wait. You guys want four episodes or one week early access and full uncut. Everything you need is in the description down below. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.